you boys last night in the scrimmage? Too many deep balls. You know, we got to improve on that. You know, start the ball game out with a seventy-yard pass. Can't have that. How do you um, how do you tell some of you some of you guys to hang with it with speed like Demir Bird? Better get out of the backpedal early and understand. You know that's part of the game, knowing your opponent. And uh, you know, if he's faster, you better get out early. He catches short pass. Let's go back and make the tackle. But we can't give him six. So you know we got to be smarter than that. We just asked Coach uh, Elliott if he was uh, pleased with the fact that his O line gets to go against the D line uh, every day, and if that makes his guys better. Do you feel like your guys get better going against our wide receiver or USC's wide receivers every night? Sure. I mean, you know, you got a big guy that's physical and Alshon, and so we're going to play against big physical receivers in the SEC. And then you got now you got a speed demon like Demir Berg, and you know who's probably, if not. The fastest, he's one of the fastest guys going to be in the SEC. And, and so, you know, if we can face that speed in practice, it's only going to prepare us for the game. Is, uh, is it Marquette? Is your scholarship? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea about that. Uh, I hadn't heard it yet. Okay. Coach, what do you, uh, do you have a specific set of uh, rules that you give your guys, for, uh, for example, on trick plays like last night's uh, throw from Ace to uh, D'Angelo in the end zone? Is, uh, is is there anything that, that, that you tell your guys on plays like that, or is that just kind of a, a more of a natural instinct thing? Well, I think it's you know a couple things involved. You know, if you're playing three deep or a deep zone, you need to stay in that deep zone. And the you know the, the part of that play that was disappointing is you know they threw the hit screen out to to Ace. The guys that played the hit screen stopped and tried to get back in coverage when they need to go and force it and make him throw the ball. He had too much time to throw the football, so that was the biggest part. And then DJ had to lock on the guy. But you know, if we'll we'll play that play better next time. Are you still confident that Akeem Augusti is going to get back in time and he's going to get enough time to practice to uh, play DC? Sure. I mean, we got 16 days. It'll be 15 after the day. And uh, you know, uh, Akeem has played a lot of football here, and you know, he'll he'll, he'll probably be ready. Hopefully, first next week they ran him today. Uh, he did, hadn't wore his boot in a couple of days, so they did some hard surface running today. He stood in the pool, and, and uh, you know, according to Clint, he did pretty good. Is DJ Swearinger your most physical secondary guy? Uh, probably. Uh, you know, we we uh, DJ takes pride in being physical. You know, and DJ, you got to know, uh, it's not always going to be a, a blow up shot, and so he missed some tackles yesterday that he should miss. He got to you know learn to come to balance and and not try to you know knock anybody out. And so when he he starts to do that, but I, you know, I think he's the most physical guy we got in yeah. secondary. Are you confident he'll have a good year this year? Oh yeah, I just you know DJ understand what we're doing on defense. It's his third season in the system, and and uh, you know fully expect him to do real well. It's important to have a guy who is physical back there who strikes a little fear. Do you need that? Oh, of course. I mean, you know, this game is mental, and uh, you know, if you can intimidate some people by you know big hits, and you know, the receiver's going to think twice about coming across the ball. Did you have any of that last year, or enough of it, maybe? Uh, no, I don't recall anybody striking a blow. Uh, you know, that's the kind of game I like to play—a physical football game. You know, we want the ball. And we want to get turnovers, but you know, you know, you can set the tempo early uh, when you do have a chance to, to blow someone up across the middle. Ellis said probably after the second scrimmage that y'all would decide whether or not to move Devontae back to free. Have y'all thought about that at all? No, Devontae will play spur. Uh, you know, we we, we we feel you know decently good about the guys that we have right now in free, and you know, we've moved Kadetrick back there, and you know, it'll take him a. Uh, a few practices to learn what we're doing, but you know he's he's shown some signs that he could possibly help us. There. What has Jimmy done to impress you all there? Uh, he's he's done everything we asked of him so far. You know, uh, he make plays on the ball. You know, he had a great interception today, and and scale. Uh, you know, Jimmy can be a play playmaker for. It seems like he's gotten a lot of a lot of the picks out there during during fall practice. Is, is that accurate? Yeah, that's probably true. You know, Jimmy. Does, you know, if you get free safety, you you, know, you read the quarterback, you can break on the ball. You you should get picks, and that's what we expect of him. Sherrod behind Jimmy. Is that right? Uh, yes, yeah, Sherrod is, is behind Jimmy right now, and uh, Sherrod is trying to play two position at boundary and at free. But uh, right now he's playing behind Jimmy, and Corey is playing behind a DJ in the boundary. Coach, you talked about some of your young corners and whether or not they'll see much playing time this year. Anybody that you see uh, contributing in, a, in any substantial way? Well, again, you know, we're still in the total evaluation state. Uh, you know, uh, Ahmad has done really well. Uh, uh, but, you know, it, again, you got two guys that will be seniors in front of them, and then Marte Max has, has done real well. So, you know, uh, for Ahmad to get playing time, you know, I think we have to have injuries. Uh, I'd love to try to rest him, especially having two seniors. At the field corner spot, and then you know, uh, you know, when Vic is healthy, he's he's pretty good, and and uh, Marte, uh, 
Lamar Marquette has done real well and you know Stefan. So I mean we we got some depth at corner and that's something that we didn't have last year. Is there a timetable for Victor to come back? Uh well he came in practice today. Uh, again, you know, if he get treatment and, and get healed, but you know of course Vic is out in the first three ball games and that we already know that and so you know that's something that we have to deal with also. Coach you said the other day Marty Marquette's still your fourth option uh, with Vic out. Sure. Uh, Marty's fourth option. Thanks, Coach. Uh, a lot of expectations have been placed on this team. A lot of fan support fans are going crazy. Have you seen any evidence that these guys are, you know, how are they handling those those expectations? Are they well, uh, it off, come to you work? know, it's, it's, you know, if they do what Coach Bird asks them, then, you know, uh, we should have high expectations. But, again, it's not going to just happen. You know, we got to work for it, and, you know, we got to compete every day and continue to get better. And if you do it on this field, then those expectations could become reality.